warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Atirah Bindi Yoslan and I am from EMB 6M 8B. So today I'm going to present to you about my project 3 of Control Engineering MEC 522. The project named is Automated Drying Racks. The first problem statement for my project is worrying about clothes when owner is not home. We often worry about our clothes at drying racks when we go outside because it is exposed to the rain and it can cause our clothes to be wet. So this will prevent the owner from worrying about bad weather whenever the owner is outside. The second one is time consuming. I'm sure we have other things to do than looking out for clothes and weather just in case if there's something there's a problem when the owner fell asleep while the clothes are hanging outside, the clothes are completely wet because of the rain and the owner will have to go to the same cycles of doing laundry which is time consuming. And the third one is take up too much space. Traditional clothing racks are often located at large area which with but with automated drying rack the rack will not take up too much space because it will be folded nicely when it is not used and in this project there are three objectives the the three objectives the first one is learn more about tinkercad simulations and the second one we i have uh, my objective is create the alternative to alternate solutions of the problem stated using tinkercad software and the third one i i got to enhance my control system knowledge so this is what my project will look like at drying rack the photoresistor will detect sunlight and the potentiometer will detect rain which can cause the rack to fall to its original position and expand to mini to maximize the heat from sunlight to dry clothes Okay, this is my circuit looks like for the automated drying racks which I have designed. So the first one, I use Arduino R3 board. The second one, I use potentiometer to detect wind and photoresistor to detect sunlight and LED RGB to tell the tells whether the, the DC motor will on or off. And this is the DC motor, the breadboard, and I use three resist three transistor can uh, which has connected to the set of wires. So let's move to the coding. So, so this is the uh, block diagram that I have used. The first one comment red value sensor and value sensor I have uh, set the variable value of sensor to read analog at pin 10 read analog at pin 10 which is here and uh, print comment print sensor regarding to uh, regarding uh, print sensor reading to know its range and print the serial monitor value sensor with new line comment the map sensor reading to range of LED and DC motor and uh, I use if and else control the to read the pin analog a ten set pin 13 high low this is for led rgb to whether it's uh, yellow or whether it's green or red so we'll move to the simulation so as you can see the potentiometer here is that it does not detect any wind at all so it will not move the dc motor but this one I moved it first so it has to moved and the second one okay let's it indicates in it indicates red if the DC motor is not moving so the second one I use photo resistor the photo resistor is one to detect sunlight so just in case if the sunlight the photo is more and more so the DC motor will move indicates that the rack will expand or close so that's it, the simulation and that's all from me from Noor Atira bin Joslan project MEC 522 control engineering automated drying racks thank you have a nice day